smart MCCB, uh, we have the uh, Ethernet communication like this one, RG45 with the two indicators, uh, this one and this one. And then we have the Wi-Fi communication module through the, uh, through the antenna. So firstly, you need to power on, power on all these uh, lines. Uh, and then, and then, uh, uh, make, switch on this uh, auto machine. And now this bracket is already closed. So very be careful about this uh, lens. It's uh, powered. It's already powered. So must be careful. And so now in this video, we are going to show you how to do the Wi-Fi configuration. And uh, firstly, to for this uh, return button, uh, we also uh make design it as a uh, the function module press for five seconds it's going to the configuration uh mode so one two three four five six seven eight a few seconds more to make sure it's then when you press the five seconds here you are going to see it will release the hotspot signal for the uh configuration it starts with uh, t30 so you see t301 so it starts from the t30 it means the hotspot released from this uh, uh, breakers and the password is also uh, eight times eight 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 times eight so it's already connected Okay, so it's already connected uh, and no data, so it's okay, it's already connected. Okay, so here we are going to add uh, this device, the same as the MTS3. Uh, add a new product, scan this QR code, come here this way. So here you are going to see, okay, it's already scanned and uh, input the word is, uh, default uh, password is admin. And the name is uh, like uh, MCCP2. And uh, install in Shanghai. So save. Okay, so it's already saved. Mm, let's see. Okay, it's already online. Communication. And uh, let's come back to this. Uh, uh, but we can switch to any other regular ones. <coughs> and here we are going to see okay it's still online and uh, let's it's opened okay so you see it is a uh, recording now so now it is going through the Wi-Fi signals It takes a few seconds to reclose because the breaker requires for high power and uh, need the time to restore the power and energy to break to break the to switch on the contacts inside okay so you see now it's already online and you see the color it is changed let's switch off switch off okay so it's very frequently easily and now you also saw the red will change to green. Now switch on again. You see, it's also reclosing, and uh, it takes a, a few more seconds. So it's very good now. And here, come on, now look at this. So this is the Wi-Fi communication. But uh, in most of the case, we also recommend to connect the breaker with the uh, Ethernet through the RG45. This is very simple. When you switch, uh, switch on, you see the, the indicators, it is uh, still blinking, and then you see the green lights blinking. That means already connected. So this is very simple. Without any further configuration, it will be already online. And, uh, <coughs> so, so, 
So for the three phase, here you are going to see more details. Uh, this is the main breakers. This is line uh, phase A, phase B, phase three. So you see the temperature, the current, the volts. So all of them. This is a neutral current. So it's very easy to see. And also for this uh, uh, power configuration here, you see more details. Yeah. And now it's already connected. Let's switch off. Okay, so very easy. It's, uh, it's now connecting through the cables. It's very easy to use now. And uh, in this case, I'm going to also introduce to you the the new the new interface of our uh, app. Uh, let's change it to our office one. This is the one in our office. Here you see all these data analysis. Okay, so very easy to analyze this. The current. This is the the yellow is uh, this uh, this month. The green is last month. Here is the total energy analysis analysis and uh, this is the whole year and the, the main line line one line two line three each lines so we are we already updated our our app with uh, much more friendly and more uh, easy for the power management okay thank you